live today, January 28th, 11.05 Eastern. We have another artist coming to life in Terra Virtua Discord Artist Spotlight. This winter, we present to you Arc 4 G. -G, 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 -G. Dude, it's just level of cheese, man. I'm swimming in like Swiss cheese right now. Like two We're, tr <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to have fun. So, oh, in all serious, and all, everybody, welcome uh, to another Artist Spotlight. <clears throat> Oh, wow, my voice is destroyed after that. Uh, <laughs> shout out to all of our friends in TerraFam joining up with us. Uh, today we have a special one with ARC 4G. Super special. So if you guys can give a hand clapping emoji, a thumbs up, something cool in voice chat. Let's let's spam ARC 4G with a little bit of hello in here. Do you want to break down the format for this one uh, for everyone? Because it's going to be a little bit Yeah, different. sure. Yeah, cool. So for everyone joining... Uh, we're actually going to keep this a uh, text AMA today. Uh, Russ and I will be your narrators. Uh, we will be asking questions out loud, as well as typing questions um, in Discord, uh, taking questions from the community. But we are also going to be, you know, not only uh, reading these questions aloud for our Twitch users, but we are also going to be reading the answers aloud for our Twitch users. All right, I'm going to read some talking points from this because I think I think you know we, we passed the link, but I'm going to uh, give the community some insights on on Arc and, and how he works with Arc. So, um, so it, it, so he wrote an article and he talks about his experience using Blender uh, and other creative software with while having a disability SMA. If you don't know what SMA is, it's spinal muscular atrophy, and um, so he goes into how he's going to create art um, w having SMA, which is just in in incredible how he does this. So he says, let's start with stuff I can't use due to the lack of strength and dexterity, like mouse and keyboard, gaming controllers, and most button-based devices and joysticks. It's interesting. So it leave, you know, well, what does he use? And it leaves him trackpads and smartphones. So he discovered an app called Unified Remote that allows him to control the PC from his phone and the phone's keyboard. How crazy Whoa. is that? And he even goes on that. He says, this probably sounds like a nightmare for digital artists out there, because imagine not having the speed and precision of a physical keyboard and needing to use your phone and touch screen. But the beauty of 3D software is you don't need speed and precision for most actions, like in video games, for example. So uh, he goes on and says it's you know frustratingly slow and tedious, but it's better than nothing. So this particular app that he uses has a feature where you can add custom buttons as well as the default keyword. So he added a few buttons specific to Blender that helps a bit with speed. Pretty wow. freaking cool wow. stuff here. So um, the interesting thing, and I think we can all attest to this because he talks about if this app were to get discontinued or his phone stops supporting it, you know, he's going to be in trouble. He'll have some issues. So he's looking for similar apps, you know, uh as a backup but obviously as you can imagine when you find the app you love or if there's of good quality sometimes you're going to run into trouble finding other apps that aren't of that quality um i i've had that experience before i think it was like viva video where you can make you know um intro videos and some marketing material and put background music on stuff and there's a lot of apps out there to do it but they're just terrible it made me think like you know, these monopolies that some of these smaller apps and some of these smaller companies have, it's pretty crazy because you think, you know, if they're not making any money on it, with their subscriptions or advertising purposes, like how long will it be around? Um, you know, are the developers really just in it to win it, to give it to the community, to make sure they use it? Um, it's really interesting where we are in technology, but sorry, yeah. let me watching, jump back into this. Are you watching what's on my screen right now? Because I don't know if I'm physically capable of moving on. No, and this is what this is why I, this is so I'm crazy. Just, Arc, I'm locked I mean, you, in. Okay. Arc, I'm locked in, man. How do we get out of this? I can't move. I'm just so stuck. so. He, check this out. So check this out. So 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 now so he so he talks about how he has the keyboard situation figured out, and now he has to talk about the, the mouse alternative. Mm, okay. So he uses he, he uses the Magic Trackpad from Apple. So mm -hmm. he um he he bought third party software that allows um his trackpad to work on his PC. And he got super used to it. Me too. And uh, the problem with SMA is when you get used to a repetitive task, you have a really, really hard time switching to something else because your muscles' dexterity gets used to that specific behavior. 
this is this is incredible. So he's talking about how developers have updated, um, you know, some of these things that he's using, and how it really these little updates and changes can really destroy his workflow because of the, the muscle dexterity. This is this is insane. This is crazy. Arc respect. Oh, he's talking about how he wrote, how he wrote to developers and um, and how they 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 helped him out with this. Uh, and then okay, so then he goes on to the final piece in his list of tools is uh, 3D connection, C O N N E X I O N. And he goes, this is probably the weirdest tool in my tool set. And I'm like, yeah, what is that? So we have the phone as a keyboard replacement and the trackpad as a mouse replacement. What is this for? So basically in Blender, you have a viewport. You can control it by either holding a button and moving the mouse or use or use the on-screen controls in the top right corner. I can't do actions that require two simultaneous movements or hold buttons. So most of the hotkeys are out of the question. And the on-screen controls are very useful, but not comfortable to use all the time. This is crazy. And I think this is important for our community to see, like, you know, when you're purchasing or, you know, picking up like an ARC 4G piece, we've always talked about the work, the time, the effort that goes into this. And as I read this article aloud to the community and fans of ARC 4G's work, think about the effort that is going into each one of these works as he works through SMA and using all these variants of software tools because of that and how updates affect them. Think about the challenges and the effort that goes into each and every single design that he does for his artwork. Why don't we start with a first question? So Arc, we need to know, Arc 4G, how did you get your artist's name? Let's mm -hmm. get that yeah. out right off Good the one. bat. Um, I, I, I know how Russ got his name, uh, his mom gave it to him, <laughs> so. <laughs> I didn't think she put a lot of thought into it. He was like, "Ah, that'll work." <laughs> yeah. So, so Arc Type Studio because it actually started here on Discord. Okay, I have cool. a feeling that this is gonna get this is gonna get interesting. Is it actually started here on Discord? I was using my real name, but one day I clicked my profile and thought, "Hmm, Arc is a short, sweet word, easy to type in and remember." <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And then when I tried signing up for social media stuff, it's almost impossible to get ARC. So I added 3D. It was taken. So I added 4G. <laughs> LOL. That's actually That's awesome. the best story ever. I don't feel like you can actually make that any. I don't know why. Like ARC 4G just matches your, like just the tone of your art. So I really feel like you did a great job, even though you kind of fell into it. It was like, it makes sense to me now. All right. We got to get into the questions. Let's get into the questions. Tell us what this piece says to you oh yeah so community i'm gonna give five tvk to anybody that can guess as close to what well, you think this I mean, artwork is about there's a high chance that he wants everyone to interpret it for themselves we heard that that's, uh, we heard that stop last giving away it's a trick question i man. don't i don't know what he's gonna say <laughs> uh arc we want to know how you would interpret this am i wrong is are these bullets what are we what what is the motivation behind he this only artwork cares about if he's right he's like just tell me i'm right no Art. <laughs> no i think there's Listen. a lot of people who airbags being great. That's ego. a good one fill it okay <laughs> it's gonna be, well pretty soon it's gonna be a painting a, a, an animation of my <laughs> ego being crushed if i'm wrong but all right arc it, what is what is this artwork what does it represent what was the motivation for it um, just tell us everything about it. Oh, he answered. He goes, he goes, I'm about to blow your mind, but 90% of my art yeah, meaning I, is nothing. Ella, art. Hold on. Hold on. I just <laughs> thought it looked pretty. It's nothing. I don't even know myself. Okay. Art, I need to tell you for the other 10%, can it be bullets? Can it be bullets don't in like a fantasy type don't of world? Don't give it to him. Don't do it, Ark. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't deserve this win. <laughs> Hold on, yeah. Ark is going to answer me and let me know. No, that's dangerous. I don't make dangerous stuff. Ah, I'm wrong. I am wrong. Oh, that actually is great. That's a great answer. It is. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful answer. I'm wrong. <laughs> wow. Did Can we actually... I know it's on stream, but did anyone else hear that? Did anyone, I am did, wrong. Jeff, Jeff admitted he was wrong. Wow. That's, uh, did we get any community questions? Let me switch back. I'm going get, to get the other article up in front of me. Um... And oh yeah, get some Ash, community. Ash was pulling a, a swift one there. Low blow, Ash. <laughs> what did Ash say? We don't want to talk. I'm not going to give him. It the reminds floor. me of the yeah. infinite loop of repeating myself with Ross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for those 
<laughs> okay, I'm not going to touch upon that. <laughs> Just leave uh, it alone. <laughs> I do, I do want to I do want to let everyone know that when you see the team joking between each other, we are one sure. big family. We love picking and teasing on each other outside of love. This team was built just amazing. <laughs> it's just passion. an amazing built team. Everyone's yeah, super we, passionate, we, we, so it gives us a lot of room to really cut jokes and I'm, stuff because we all know I'm, that. I'm just core, waiting for Ash to jump in here and say, no, I'm actually serious. As far as mixing the unnatural elements, uh, was that – so let me just go back. I want to actually touch on something here. Uh, your – and it's really cool because I was actually able to read this. Uh, I didn't know this ahead of time, and it makes sense, like – so this is what he writes. I make 3D art loops and simulations with the simple goal of giving you something pleasing to look at for a few seconds. And honestly, Ark, you nailed it. 100% like, and totally. I, I would say a few minutes, if not a few hours, I could probably meditate to this. Like you did something here that I feel like people can really appreciate. I appreciate it. Uh, Jeff doesn't know how to appreciate it because he interprets it wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> listen, our, listen. he said 90% of it is nothing, which to me means well, it's open to interpretation. Yeah. And I interpret it the way I thought. You the know, way that's I great. And, and, and although he doesn't make – this actually might even like 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 give birth to like new questions because if I interpret it as bullets, right, does that – reflect means, on what my my mind is thinking or just, what's happening like hard around core, man. my life you need a light now i'm super that's hard. what it means I've got to stop. you know what it is i think i need to stop playing this video games. one of those images <laughs> like where what, what is it called the blank or the holly will probably know where you it's an ink graph or an ink blot you stare at it and translate what you see okay <laughs> i could just see jeff being like that's a weapon nope that's a weapon yep that's a weapon and then it's like what kind of, is he, like, goes, what, he goes <laughs> what kind of bullets are this thing Let's, i was saying like in a fantasy you know what <laughs> what caliber are those bro <laughs> I, i'm i'm, I'm they're, are, they're are these gonna be in call of duty <laughs> okay I, I don't own a weapon and i don't know much about weapons okay I i'll play stop, I'll stop. But i do i do play a lot of video games with weapons so maybe that's where need, my mind went when I saw it. You just it. need a little love in but your life, man. That's so. A bomb would make more sense. Oh, that's a, So imagine if this was... Okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Oh, so yeah, you actually... Go. Yeah, that actually... It does. He's right, man. <laughs> that It totally looks more like a bomb. <laughs> Can you ask hurts. some more questions? My stomach hurts. Hold on. <laughs> Let, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Dab, I cannot stop staring at it. Yeah. Ark's work is just... Yeah, it's mesmerizing. You can literally look at this artwork for like a good 10 minutes and you won't even know 10 minutes ago went by. So mm -hmm. can I ask, uh, since there is so many challenges, like what's arc, what's the timeline for one of these? Like what was like, Ooh, how, good question. how much time goes into like from conception to actually uh, where you're satisfied with it? Because, you know, we had that conversation yesterday with Brian Brinkman. Like, how do you know when, when you're good? And, and so he has his ways. and I'm just curious. Uh, what yours might be. So Ark is typing right now. Th now I'm just really surprised. Three to two Holy to three crap. hours? Holy crap. Three, what? two to three hours. <laughs> what? What is that? He's, you're a machine. That's what? why he's... Wait until he's 5G, man. He's going to be like lightning fast. <laughs> Sorry. If I didn't laugh at myself, I'm worried no one would. <laughs> now let's go back to just, just drooling over the fact that, that he finishes his work in two to three hours. It takes me like two to three hours just to like get up and get coffee i mean are you kidding me that's crazy all right so clearly I, we know that there's there's yeah a, like it takes me two hours to get going ask ash, ash like he has to wait he's like are you ready yet man did you have your coffee your oatmeal your your morning meditation are you no, all good so, you pampered up so, <laughs> the, so no. i'm just gonna fin i'm just gonna finish off this uh, this article so 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 basically it says like the trackpad it requires a bit of setup and it doesn't suit my needs out of the box I had a few scares where the Blender team changed the behavior of six DOF devices, and I couldn't get back in, in the behavior I'm used to, but thankfully after some digging into the settings, I was able to get it exactly the same again. In conclusion, my workflow is very fragile and very dependent on multiple specific devices and uncommon software, so it's very scary how easy it is to break, and I wouldn't be able to make 3D art anymore, but hopefully I'll continue to find alternatives and continue having fun making stuff. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, wow. Can we pause for a second? I mean, Who if that's not Harry? inspiring, just just for everything, I mean, that's that's just incredible arc. And and you know what's so crazy? You know, we talked about SMA and we talk about disabilities in here and the struggles of disabilities and how you can turn you know negatives into positives positives by 
creating something so beautiful and getting around barriers for that. So, Ark, you just have my utmost respect for your passion and your your imagination and creativity in doing this, and, and mm -hmm. it's just so cool. I'm to see. actually really pumped that we were able to like pause and actually know the story behind this because I feel like you would see this and you were just like, okay, yeah, this is super super incredible art here. But actually knowing the story behind it, which is really the purpose of these spotlights, um, it just adds so much more depth that you know we can huh. actually appreciate yeah. from. And so we really just I want to thank you for actually like having uh, your art on our platform. So anyway, I just want to take a second for that. Let's do this. So so Russ and I have asked a ton of questions to Arc. Um, you know, and again, I want to mention if you have questions for Arc 4G, uh, type them up now. Let's get them into the voice chat ahead of time so that Russ and I have plenty of time to curate them, uh, check them out, read yeah, them, read, it, read them aloud for our Twitch <laughs> users, and then also give Arc some time to type out some responses right. from that. So you, again, please, if you we're going to actually keep the, we're going to ask. Yeah. Them, and you don't want that. Exactly. <laughs> no, you don't want You don't want to hear my voice more than you have to. <laughs> and you especially don't want to hear Russ's voice more yeah. than you have to. So, so nasally. <laughs> <laughs> an ancient photo gary that photo was taken last week stop lying to people so but, i want to um, know so what's what's next for uh arc 4g and i'll stop with the 5g jokes i'll i'll cut myself off so what what's next like what do you got cooking any collaborations like what can we expect from from your um art uh in the in the days to come in the months to come just curious Cause I, I, this is kind of like one of those things, like you can't just have one art piece. Like it, I feel like it's one of those, if you start collecting art pieces, you're like, you're doomed to collect them for life. And when I say doomed, you are blessed to collect them for life because they are amazing. Uh, I want to go back to this one piece actually that I honestly, when I was watching this, I don't know if you heard, Jeff was talking about something and I had like a jump, like I was <laughs> that right there. <laughs> like that was so unexpected where the, the little cube there like dodges the uh look at that look dude. at that animation that's crazy i this honestly so i i, this is, this I so legitimately crazy jumped yeah. in my seat like it, you were explaining something i didn't want to interrupt but i was like oh it was insane yeah. i just didn't expect it i'm like because <laughs> you would think it would explode but it dodged that one and then it's like oh no i'm super fragile and even though I just dodged that bearing, I still oh. I still shattered Ooh. into a million pieces. Ooh, Ark says Ark says check his Instagram. I, I bet you uh, I bet you'll find some cool stuff on there. Why why he works on some questions. Another question, Ark, um, that I'm going to read out loud for our Twitch users. Uh, did Ark start with drawing, or was it completely digital from the beginning? Mm, Interesting that's and, a and very, good question. Very good question. We're getting some really good questions, and also he answered one from Mental Sage. Does your process go more like? First preconceived idea. Oh, I lost it. Preconceived idea, then attempt to reach that idea, or more begin work and see where it goes. And arc goes both. Okay, he says. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm just, I'm just like we're we're basically finding out that arc 4G is like some form of like arc god mm -hmm. here because it's just like I, I finished stuff in we're two hours. We're not worthy. I just, we're not I just, worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> we just, we just go with the flow. <laughs> that, that that's how, that's how it goes i need to find out anyone World anyone gift, tuning by in the late, way. uh arc is chatting along and we're sort of narrating uh this is a different format we're using so if you're just tuning in and you're wondering why can't i hear arc it's because he's chatting along um he's overcome some like uh really incredible like i, I don't even want to call them disabilities because it's just caused you to create so much more like i I don't know. It's like it's like your superpower. Hold almost. on. Let me let me let me put this in. Uh, for those for those that might be new and just joining, we did go through this and and you know very uh, extensively. I'm going to drop a link to an article yeah. Ark wrote on Medium and that talks he, about his disability and how. Yeah. And for those that want to know how yeah. he creates Holly, this artwork that you're seeing on screen. Yeah. Um, Holly put it know. really well. He has alternate abilities. He's basically a superhero, and he's overcome the biggest obstacles and. We're all basically floored that you know yes. he, he's basically we're not worthy, <laughs> right? That's we're it. We're not. <laughs> that's where that's where we're at now. So if you wonder why all the the, the memes and stuff are happening, it's it. Um, it just again adds so much depth uh, that I, I'm glad we had an opportunity to really showcase here on the spotlight. Um, and yeah, this this is, this is what it's for. So if you ooh, another good question from Dad, by the way, do you visualize this first or do you let the artwork grow generically? 
Interesting question. Mm. That is actually a really that interesting question. That is a question. good thing. Okay, as he's typing, I can sort of identify with this, especially if you're if you're doing UI, you just hope like the you just you you just wait for it to start creating itself. So I'm the type who's just like I just start somewhere and I hope it eventually ends up somewhere nice. Uh, I usually okay, I usually have a general idea of how it would look, but sometimes I start making a car and end up with a plane. Really cool. So you have a general you know, I, idea. I, I, we, yeah. We've had that. We, you, you know, I, I think it was um, George Boyer that was actually talking about that Let's a while ago. Another artist that we've that. had, where it, it seems like like these artists that are on Terra Virtual are so talented that they're literally just going with the flow. They don't have like a necessarily preset concoction or preset image that they're going after. It's just like they just kind of start with 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 a seed and they just let their imagine just go with the wind on it. And that's what I'm taking from it. And that just speaks volumes to me in regards to underlying talent. Right. And, and that's, you know, one thing that as soon as I saw Ark's mm -hmm. work of, of seeing that, I, I just, I, it's just fascinating. I do, you know, I think yeah. it, it's really cool. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, you're good. I wanted you're to, good. Okay, I, so, yeah. I wanted to piggyback okay, so, off of uh, our conversation yesterday with like, uh, finding unicorns in this, uh, artist landscape. And like you definitely mm -hmm. qualify. I don't know if you heard yesterday's interview arc with Brinkman, but you are a unicorn, sir. <laughs> and 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 back in the day, I would try. I would like try to buy all your stuff, and then before everyone knows about you, like that's how I feel right now. Um, it may be too late. I feel like too many people know, but I'm still gonna buy all your stuff. It's uh. <laughs> so I just wanted to throw that in there. Arc, you're a unicorn. I didn't want to forget. Totally. So I think, okay, so I, I asked this question two minutes before we started the show with my absolutely amazing and awesome, perfect, epic intro. <laughs> Art, we need to know. We see we see one piece on here. There are, it's one piece with only three copies, which is extremely rare. It, it is, uh, they go for a thousand USD a piece, which, which believe it or not is ex extraordinarily fair to some of the prices that are is getting for for work uh you know uh obviously he's been on other platforms before this so highly suggest checking that out <clears throat> um the burning question is are we going to see more arc pieces come on to terra virtua in the near future oh yeah we need to we need Community. to know we always oh, we, we ask everybody this question we need to know i'm oh. definitely more interested in doing more for terra yes. after meeting you guys and, yes. and so basically, so basically, we so what, it, what, Ark, what Ark is saying here is he's saying that that his relationship with me and, and DM and Discord <laughs> is just so wonderful. It's he's all Jeff. In more. It's all Jeff. It's, it, but he, he, he notice he you know he didn't mention Russ in this. He didn't say I'm just that. you know, <laughs> He goes yes, exactly, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I'll, so, let, I'll let you have that one. You, you, for those that you know, we, we are showing uh, Russ on, on Russ's screen. We are showing the piece that is that is live now on the Terra Virtual Art way. Gallery. It is still available. There is only three, so check them out. Uh, Russ uh, actually was showing on a screen some other artworks that Ark had created around the space. Um, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, they're all incredibly fascinating, so get excited. The fact that you see it here that Ark is interested in putting more work onto the platform, uh, definitely stay tuned to that. Of course, you know we have uh, special socials to follow on that, specifically our Twitter, at Terra mm -hmm. Virtual Art. Um, you know, stay in tune with us on that. Give us some love. Show us some followers. Um, you know, help retweet some of these these artist AMAs that we're doing. Right. The whole thing about doing this with the community is out of love for artists, our love for community. Right, we're right. To make this a big family and really put people into a spotlight to get some extra attention yeah, that they deserve sure. from everybody. So. For sure. We have a, so we're, we're going to be uploading all of these um, streams to YouTube. So it'd be a big help if you like, uh, share, and subscribe. Basically, we're trying to uh, get people to help or get people to understand the space a little bit more um, and really showcase the artists behind the scenes uh and really the whole ethos behind what nfts do uh it just brings you closer to the actual artist let's try and focus any last minute questions for arc while he's still here very rare chance to have a direct conversation uh with the community with the artist right here live so um, get those questions up give us some time to curate them and read them for our fans over on twitch and also give some time for arc to type out a response for that so, so Mandel Sage asked, so, uh, what would you say are your main areas of interest and inspiration? Great question. And Ark's response was tech and physics. I can see it. I, w 
I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I can see that too. I can see that the whole the what tech and physics. Yeah. Inspirations. Did he mention uh, any inspirations he had from other artists? What other artists, digital artists, crypto artists, um, are out there now that are some of your favorites? What are What are some of artists that you enjoy, perhaps uh, either working with and collabs, or or even if you are gonna have collabs? But what artists out there? Uh, whose work that you enjoy most? Ooh, bees and bombs. Yep. I'm actually going to see if I can find that on Twitter right now. I think it goes by... Uh, yeah, I wish Dave. I had all these these tabs um, staged. So so we're, we're reading along. So yeah. <laughs> like, so... Bees, no, bees, uh, bees and bombs uh, that does does some really cool stuff. I'll actually share I'll actually share bees and bombs uh, link in here on Twitter so you can see some some visuals. Uh -huh. um, you know, yeah. Russ, you can even oh, oh he he, oh. he actually we, we, he posted the link at the same time. I he beat me, but but let's go ahead and, and ask you know another burning question. Ark, do you have any collabs happening behind the scenes, or do you have any plans to do any collabs in the near future? So he says, I have a few, but I can't say since it's not confirmed yet. The oh, that's a big art. deal. I'm speculating art. so hardcore art, right now. Uh-oh, hold on. Uh-oh. Odius goes, Ark, it's all right. You can let them know. Uh-oh. What? Uh -oh. Is this what? happening? Is what? this happening right here? Live on stream? This is happening. Uh-oh. This is happening. Guys, he's typing. Everyone, happening. everyone. It's funny. So if, if you're not a part, join the Discord. Oh, if you wow. Want to chat this, is, along. this is happening live oh! right here in Discord chat. Oh! Let's do it. Let's do it for real. Oh, oh my God. They're going to do it. Hold on. Can we screenshot that? Yeah, hang we, on. Hang on. We, I'm actually... we need it. We... Oh, my goodness. So if you're not in our Discord, like uh, this is this is where we, this is basically the hub of the community. We also have a Telegram. What? But if you're wondering, if you're actually watching on the Twitch stream or the YouTube recording later, uh, please come join our Discord. And join these conversations as a live interactive audience. We like to have a lot of fun and we just really anyway, so here we go. Like that what's happening right here is there's a potential collab and everyone's freaking out. And so let me go back. I'll give you the play okay. by play. Okay. I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. Okay. So I'm going to share uh, for those that don't know, I have had a chat with Odious. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but here is a link to their Twitter if you want to show them some love. Let's stay on top of Odious and Ark. We want to see this. Yeah, collab. we're not gonna let you I guys want this. slide. Guys, listen, it happened here. I need this on Terra Virtua ASAP, please. I promise you, I will let the public have first okay. dibs at purchasing it before Rust or I come in and <laughs> scoop it up. Again, I, I do. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got an announcement. We got an announcement from, from Granum. To keep that positive train going, I just want to mention I picked up my first digital art, Ooh. and it's yours, Art 4G. <laughs> let's go. Let's let, let's let's give awesome. a shout out to to, to to Granum in here. I need I need Where's, like a, a heart yeah. heart emoji spam chat and voice chat right now. Drop the hearts. Drop the hearts for Art. Drop yeah. the hearts. Shout out Granum for picking up an art piece. That is love. That is support, and that is just awesome. This is why we do this stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is why our community just rocks. Like everyone's just supporting each other, really enjoying everything people are doing. And I also love that everyone's just chatting, you know, um, <clears throat> having a great time in here without just engaging with each other. So I don't know how you want to do the outro. We're still actually uh, figuring this all out. We're, we're each iteration. We try to get a little bit better. Um, and anyway, so I don't know how you want to give him some time to kind of talk about what he's got coming up, what he is working yeah, on, let's, let's do that. This yeah. is your floor. What? Anything you want to say? Anything you want to type? Anything you want to tell us, Ark? The uh, world. If you tell the world, tell the community, anything you want to say. Uh, one thing we love is we love secrets. I mean, I think yeah. we have a big, huge, huge secret collab happening with, give us with some Odious. Leaks. I really want that. Give us some leaks. leaks. Give us some. Give us. Give us some. Give some tips out to starting artists. Tell us what you're working on Nesk. Talk to us. Type anything you want. You have the floor. Uh, you know, since you're typing out, we're going to give you, you know, obviously a couple of extra minutes to write as much as you wish. Mm -hmm. um, why our community, why Russ and I probably just tease each other obnoxiously for I, like the next two, three minutes. I so. say go ahead and follow Ark on Twitter. Um, definitely the best way to keep up. Okay. Okay. So here we go. So, so Ark4G has a nice closing statement for us. 
I'm going to read it out loud for, for our users, obviously, on Twitch. I only want to say it was a pleasure talking to you guys, and I'm definitely more ha uh, more than happy to be a part of this community after meeting the team. It's usually difficult to get enthusiastic about NFT platforms when you're not familiar with the humans behind them. So it's amazing to get to know you guys and give this whole platform Man. a more wholesome atmosphere. Who's also, onions? I really uh, wait, wait, hold on. He, he has one more sentence. Also, I really want to say I really, really enjoy talking to Jeff way more than Ross. <laughs> wait, I don't see that anywhere. I want oh, the community oh, to confirm it, that was a lie. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, he forgot to add that. So, oh. Uh, yeah, he DM'd. It was a DM. He totally said that. <laughs> As we close, we just obviously want to thank the community for coming in mm -hmm. and having just a great time with us. Uh, you know, we really appreciate everyone being patient with us, uh, you know, converting text in, into speech for our Twitch users. So, again, apologize for those if it seems like we were reading things twice, but we just wanted to accommodate all of our users for that. Uh, but obviously, you know, as we close, uh, you know, we definitely want to give some hand clap emojis for Arc 4 g coming in mm -hmm. today. Check out his art pieces. Uh, we just, uh, Graham just bought one, so there's only two left on, on the Terra Virtual art platform. Uh, if you haven't been there yet and you're living under a rock, it's terravirtual.io. We do have a wonderful sorting feature on the marketplace right now, which is actually getting some really awesome upgrades on the oh, platform man. pretty soon, by the stay way. Stay tuned, so, guys. So, stay tuned, but go over there. You're able to filter by independent artists. You can check out Arc 4 gs work as well as a bunch of other wonderful artists. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a tons more artists coming to the platform, but get familiar with these early birds that are joined. Um, they are they are priced to sell. There's some fantastic work on there if you're looking to start or even further build out your collection. Um, and of course, any questions you can always ask us. But um, yeah, let's definitely give some hand clap emojis for, for Arc coming in, spending time with us today, giving some wonderful answers to our questions. And, uh, you know, tomorrow we're going to continue this artist chat mm -hmm. and hope to see everybody in here again. So, Ark, thank you so much. We really look forward to you putting more artwork on the Terra Virtual platform. We're really looking forward to you to the, the um, Odious collab. We Make sure that happens, guys. Please make that yeah. happen. And other artists in here, uh, you heard it here first. We're going to have Russ assign... Um, discord roles uh special discord roles for all artists that are on the platform and i think we're going to come up with a discord role for artists that actually birth collabs inside these artist chats that we do you know collaborate collaborators we're going to do something <laughs> really fun and cool but uh let's go and, and arc says i'm going to go straight to bed for this good night everyone <laughs>